Hi, and thanks for joining me today. This is Mike. Today I wanted to go over the eraser tool in Shortcuts a Lot 5. This is going to be a quick tutorial, but I did see some questions on using the eraser tool. So as you can see, I do have four purple rectangles on my screen. And over here, which looks like the eraser, is the eraser tool. So if I click that, I have some additional options that pop up for me on the top. Now the first one is the eraser shape, which is exactly what it means. As you can see, if I move my pointer to the, uh, the canvas here, you will see that it is in the shape of a square. If I go ahead and change that to a circle, then it will change to a circle. So that is those two different functions, and that would be your shape. So for this example, I'm going to leave it square. Obviously for the size, if you go up, you will increase the size of your eraser tool. If you go down, it will decrease the size of your eraser. So here's where some of the different options vary. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to turn all of these off right now. All right, so if I go ahead and erase through here, you are going to see that everything disappears when I have everything unchecked. Now, if I check the keep paths closed and I go ahead and I put an eraser mark through there, you'll see that I can now I have two paths here. They are still grouped together, but it allowed me to put a, an eraser through the middle and kept the, uh, the two halves here. All right, so the last thing that I wanted to show you was let's erase a part of the uh, center of this object and show you what inverse did. So if my inverse was turned on, I could go ahead and basically undo or inverse an eraser. So the inverse of eraser is going to be coloring it in with the same color as the object. So as you can see, the inverse would go ahead and fill that back in. So I hope this was helpful. I just wanted to show you a really quick tip on using the eraser tool. Don't forget to click that subscribe button as well as the bell icon to be notified when we upload new content. Thank you and have a great day.